Hello, you bunch of beauties. This is going to be Ren Sano, you guys and girls. Continuing off with this beautiful game, Horizon Forbidden West. Um, first gameplay, I had a little complications with the controller, because you know it's my first time playing. But I am interested in the world and the story of how it's going with Aloy and all that other stuff. And yes, I have been well rested. If you watch the end of my clip, I was nearly dozing off a little bit, because I had a very long day and stuff like that. But I am re-energized and stuff like that. So it's Saturday and stuff. So, yeah, let's continue on with this game and, uh, impress me. And, action! Behold your beauty! Alright, Aloy, let's get around with this adventure, shall we? Oh, cool. Fast travel. Just what I love in this journey of the game. Um, where do I have to go? Do I have to go here? Uh, can I fast travel there? Can't fast travel yet. Can't fast travel there. Oh, maybe I gotta walk Lord of the Rings it over the way over there. Okay, gotcha. Oh shoot, there's more uh, robots. Didn't know that. Okay, I gotta be cautious. Machine. It must be a bristleback. It must be chain scrape. Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear too. Come in, Savior. Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Dwarf's orders. Good enough for me. By the forge. Petra? Aloy. What are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you two. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. <laughs> and right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. 
But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. Gotta move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. So she's been out of town for a while, and we'll see her as a savior. So. Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Time for some upgrades. I love to upgrade characters. Uh, let's see. She says she needs to upgrade her bow. Uh, we're going to do this one. Okay. Acid Hunter Arrows. Okay. New weapons attributes. Okay. There's an empty slot. Alright. Outfit upgrade. Yeah, please do. Can we upgrade that? Do I got enough bread? Yep, yeah, I do. Alright. Okay, I don't have enough of that anyway. Uh, trap crafting, pouch upgrades. Don't you know? I I love it when I upgrade characters. It makes me feel very you know special. You know. Uh, I just love creating characters and all that other stuff. Create job. Would you like to set? Would you like to set this job as your active quest? No. Uh, more crafting. Yeah, upgrade me everything. Stuff so I won't. You know, I could be a little bit semi repaired. <laughs> Should be useful. Now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. Okay, that's my stash. Who else we got? Talk to Hawk on. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. Yeah, you. Oh, he like the guy from uh, Coming to America. Uh, what's his name? She's your queen to be. Oh, uh, that's his name. Oh, uh. 
<laughs> All right, moving along. Let's see what else we can explore here. Hey, Milda. Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wilds. Kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special group griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in the scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Right. So I'm guessing it's like a side quest. I'm really enjoying the opening world, though. Sorry, Red. We're closed. All I heard was you're annoying me again. I don't like to annoy nobody. So. <laughs> you kind of look like the savior, only shorter. Size matters not. It's messy. You say, "Oh, there go the beast." All right. See if I can get a hand of these controls. Yeah, but you know, the more I, 
more I can use these controllers, the better I'll be with it. So, let me see. Alright. Let me do a little practice mode. I keep thinking that the R2 button is the scanner button, it's the L2. Up, oh, charge. These machines are made. I might learn how to override them. I'm assuming those are booby traps. Come on over. Let me give, Let me give thanks proper, proper like. See you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. South, after more bristlebacks? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the dot, you're gonna want a trip caster. Not just any trip caster. One of mine make, free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. 
Been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. Yeah, tell me about the accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. I don't follow. There's this sack of wet dirt, Olvind. Because he's the elderman of Chain Scrape. Got half the town treating him as such. <laughs> Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Olven discount. I said no. He didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the bristlebacks? No. Karn said true. He just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip caster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Trunks headed up the hill. There's my focus can help me follow them. It's a ruin from the old world. I can find something interesting inside. Cauldron's gonna teach me. Mighty thankful to you, Savior. Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're a vanguard. Well, here to escort Bardis the delicate behind to the embassy. If we can get rid of these bristlebacks. Captain said to keep an eye on Chainscrape, then these ugly lugs showed up. Gave the first one a good beating. But didn't quite have time to roll out of the way when it fell. Told you it wasn't a good idea to eat that much before heading out. I should probably get going. <laughs> Now, if you see any more of these bristlebacks... I'll make sure to roll out of their way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Thanks. Stay safe, Aloy.
For the next fight. Okay, am I going the right way to the mission? Okay, it says find Aaron's tracks, and I'm following the yellow gold things. Alright, so I see in the top of my little north thing, so am I supposed to look for footprints, or... That was sort of helpful. But it says search for Aaron's tracks. Okay, I'm in the area. Where is his tracks? Stupid me. <laughs> that whole time. His bristlebacks are everywhere. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. Ah, what's his name for the first game? No 
boring mid afternoon patrol. Just a hammer. Just the fight. Aloy? Errand. Pay attention, man. Acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. nice and quick. You might, you might have to oh, meet me halfway here. Ah! God. Oh. 
Caught me at my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Ah, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Errand, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? <laughs> well, that's great. I, I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what? Whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Oh. Errand, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. A couple of days rest, if that. Actually. Even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone? <laughs> now that figures. Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the Battle of the Spire, you, you took off. You left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Sorry it wasn't easy for you when I left. And I know it's not easy now, but what I've been doing. Life on Earth is in danger. And only I can save it. Your life on Earth? Yeah. Everything dies unless I succeed. Well, then let me help. Oh. You can't. There's no machine to fight, no bad guy to kill. What I've got to do, I. I can't even explain it. Not even to people I care about. Oh, so much for being useful. Okay. Errand! By the forge. I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you're needed elsewhere. Obviously. We'll make it without you. Let me talk to him a little bit more. I said we're good, Aloy. Oh, oh explosions. <laughs> yeah, I try to give everyone my love. Charging right at them.
help was timely, Nora. Just get back to Chain Scrape before you get yourselves killed. Not with all this salvage lying about. Come on, crew. Back to it. There's the quarry Thurlis mentioned. Break those ass chuckles! Come on over here. We gotta talk. I don't know what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the Vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people. But we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work, but Chain Scrape's whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Oban blows that thing. Because if we work without his say so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Oban holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olven's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a dawn before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least, not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Valley should be safe enough to travel. I'll go give Wadis the good news. Then maybe this embassy can finally happen.
a ruin from the old world. I could find something interesting inside. Okay, what do we have in here? Looks like this door needs some kind of key module. Maybe there's one in the ruin? Yeah, I'll do that next time. So these quick travels are not yet released yet. to bear light. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said... When I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay? Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. Well, I shall not be moving anywhere until the whistle has sounded. If it is not safe for them, then it is not safe for me. Fine. I'll make sure the whistle gets blown, and then I'll be back. Hear that? We're not leaving yet. Unpack the cart! No. I'll be right back. Don't get comfortable. As if that were possible here. Petra mentioned Olvind is supposed to be in charge around here. Guess I should talk to him to get the whistle blown. on the 
same side here, Olvund. The Bristlebacks threaten us. What do you want, Olvund? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the Bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it. What other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the Savior, the savior herself. Looks pretty shady to me. Wallopper. Gutter of use. Maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freeholder, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah. Greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate? Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh... Burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing. It's nothing. Well, it's a good off. Gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? It's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. If chain scrape is on Karja land, yeah, I want to ask him more questions. You know, he, he look like one of the shady guys. Good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah, the magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then. People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with chain scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. All right, one more question. You said you, you found, found chain scrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically found it, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in barren light shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say chain scrape is what it is, thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the 
kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. Shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay. Either you do it now, or I will. Yeah, you put your foot down. Uh, I knew you could do it. Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated. You. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. Oh, there we go, the scales. I was like, where are the scales at? All right, let's see. Let's get your A game up, girl. Uh... Yeah, I want the selective strikes one. Let me see if they got the heavy ones. Okay. Yeah, I want the strike ones first. Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baronite. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Armor is my tool. I guess break time is over now that the bristlebacks are gone. About time, you said hi. You brought out only the good stuff for you, Red. See it as you got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? 
Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. Come back anytime. Now can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. Afraid there's no fixing you. Oh shoot. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> Outfits, armor. You heard the whistle. Time to go. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightwadis. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. <laughs> well, now that that's done, the embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy at backup. I guess I could head straight for Baron Light. There we go. I was looking for this. Like combo strikes. Excellent. Poke around the don't some more first, and maybe take Petra up on that drink. I'd get around faster if I find a charger to override. I can override one of these chargers. I have to go on quiet so I don't spook the herd. Over override, so I'm going to sneak onto one and ride one. How would I? I'm gonna try to get that one like right on the tip of the corner there. Right to the left. Giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Can you go faster? How you go fast? Uh, 
That's cool, man. That's cool. How do you go faster? So he's her a lot of footwork. Time. I want to give her bunions. There we go. Oh, I should go faster. It's the X button. in charge here. At first, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around, too. Where's Erend? Looks like he's had a few. You're in a sour mood. Gentlemen. That's our cue. <laughs> you taking the edge off? Huh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but... Who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need. Ask away. How have things been since and I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. <laughs> half of them owed her a favor, and the other half. Yeah, they half of their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that is the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. She would have put them all under the table. What do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. For sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Osram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. What do you know about the embassy? I know not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. 
But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. What do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones became slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. No matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. I, um, I better get going. Oh, uh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, uh, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one... Errand. Yeah, all right. Uh, can't blame you for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is... If you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Yeah, don't count. Don't count. <laughs> Be, careful. Be careful out there. Is it me or do these two have like a thing? Or does he have a thing for her? You know, I know they partnered up in the first one. What I reviewed. But, uh... Like he's, uh... Going to partner up with her again. wall of stone between you and the Tanakh family. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh are handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Olvind was thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Oh, Sir?
orders to commander. commander. I love their Refresh outfits yourself. too. And good, good luck. Who knows, like they're in the future, they're like, you know, spiral the 